Hello and welcome to Bosch Power Tools. Today we have with us a very revolutionary product and truly innovative. So this is GWS 30B. This product is going to make things easier for people who are in heavy fabrication and also add a lot of safety features to their workplace. So let's try to understand what's there in the product and before that we try to understand what's coming in the box itself and then get into the product segment. Right. So as you can see uh, over here, it's Bosch, that's perfect. So it's professional HD, which means so this is a heavy duty angle grinder, which is meant for all the heavy fabrication and heavy industrial work. GWS 30B, so we will come to that, explain what that nomenclature is. Uh, 2800 watts, so that's the power of the motor. This is the spindle, so this is M14 spindle, which means that this is to be used with 7 inch and 9 inch grinding wheels. So we have two models, one for 7 inch and one for 9 inch, but both of them will be called GWS 30B, right? And that's the photo here. A uh, small uh, picture here saying that this is a brushless motor. So you see that uh, thing mentioned here very clearly, it's a brushless motor. What else do we have? Uh, B connected, yes, this is coming with B connected and the QR code is on this side. So you can scan and register yourself for the B connected, right. Uh, at the back, uh, uh, the features of the tools are mentioned here. So I'll just uh, read it out quickly for you. Uh, we will explain this in detail later. So this is the braking system and this has got uh, overload protection. This has got uh, restart protection, kickback control soft start, uh, ergonomic and then vibration control. So all this right inside the tool of course with the brushless motor that is there, right. So that's what it's about the tool GWS 30B. So first and foremost is the tool itself. Then we have a vibration dampening handle. So that can go this side either on top or on this side. So either of the sides and uh, this is based on if a uh, user is right handed or left handed or if he's trying to do a back gouging application. So this can be fitted accordingly. But uh, let's fix on this side, right? Yeah. So next comes is the protective guard. Of course, this is protection for the user as well as for the uh, place where we are working. Uh, now this is the grooved uh, clamping flange, okay? Now you can see there are grooves here. So the grooves is helping the gripping between the grinding wheel and the flange itself. So which means it's a better fitment and it's more safer. All right. And of course, uh, the nut to tighten this. Uh, and this is the wrench. It's a uh, two hole wrench for tightening. Uh, apart from that, what we're getting is a service directory here. And there is the one year heavy duty warranty card that's over here. All right. And this is the user manual. So strongly recommend to you uh, to read the user manual before we start the work. Okay, it'll help us in avoiding the unwanted uh, failures and breakdowns, and always gives a longer life. Right. Uh, one thing I think we kind of missed out, and that is on the cable. Now this is a typical heavy duty cable that's we are having, and this is a three pin uh, point which means uh, this is totally compliant with BIS standards for the India region. If you see here, we are mentioning as 2800 watts, okay. So this is a deviation from our regular nomenclature that we have because generally when we talk say 20, 24, 26, we are talking about the wattage of the motor. But over here we are mentioning GWS 30, whereas the wattage of the motor is saying as 2800 watts. So there is a deviation from our standard nomenclature that we have. And there is a reason why this is happening, all right. So as per IEC norms, the standard current that can flow through the tool is 16 amps, which means the maximum rating of the machine that can be statutorily done is 2800 watts, all right. So that's about the statutory part and that's about the uh, reason why we still want to maintain a 2800 watts motor, right. But having said that, and why do we write? GWS 30. We are writing GWS 30 because due to the excellent overload capacity that we have here, the machine gives us an output power of 3000 watts. And that's why we are still writing it as GWS 30. So in layman term, what does it mean to you and me? 
So, it means to you and me that even though the motor is 2800 watts rated, but the output that you get on the uh, shop floor is 3000 watts, right? It is rated 2800, but the output that you are getting actually is 3000 watts and that is because of the technology that is built in the tool. So, thus we always mention this as GWS 30. So, who are the target audience who are looking at to uh, expecting them to use the tool for their work? Industrial and institutional customers that is for sure and in those areas we are looking at people uh, let us say from iron casting. So, that is uh, basically the casting industry, people from steel fabrication, people who are into ship building, people who are into boilers, people who are into uh, uh, wind mill towers, the huge towers that we see on the uh, uh, wood, uh, wind farms uh, into the energy industry that is basically here yeah. and there is a lot of uh, gas tank or gas pipeline work. So, they are the people who could be using these tools. Uh, why are we very specific about this? Because they are the people who get into more into heavy thick plate uh, fabrication. Uh, it could be a V grooving or back gouging kind of an application and also heavy um, uh, weld removal applications. So, those are the application areas where this tool is highly highly recommended. Okay. Uh, why recommended? Because of few uh, things that gets into the tool. Uh, it will reduce your uh, maintenance cost it is going to make it more safe and it uh, and also it is going to give a longer life for the tool itself. And these are the reasons why we expect these users and recommend these users to buy this tool. Uh, quite often we find the pain point that is happening on the shop floor that you are overloading the machine and uh, because of the overloading your motor would burn up or there are times when the wheel gets jammed and then it leads into let us say breakage of wheel or you lose control and the machine is dropped from your hand. So, these are all typical situations which happen in all the heavy fabrication or heavy engineering works. Is there a way that we can prevent it? Uh, the answer is yes and how are we going to do that? So, we have a HMI mode which means human machine interface where the tool is going to give us a communication and based on that the user can act. All right. So, that is a big uh, I would say uh, thumbs up for the user and uh, uh, for the safety as well. Uh, the reason is we are able to foresee a situation and avoid it first and second we are trying to keep the whole premises safe. Right. So, that is the key. And uh, how does this HMI work? Now, you have an indicator out here. Okay. It is not glowing right now, but so this is the indicator out here. So, the indicator can will give you three options. The first one is being green. So, when the indicator turns green, which means it is all okay, you can run the tool, no problem, you can start loading, keep going, right. The second what could happen is the indicator turns red and starts blinking. Okay, it starts blinking constantly. So, what is that communication to us? So, that means the tool is overheated. Okay. So, when the tool gets overheated, the light turns red and starts blinking. What do you do in this stories? So, all that you need to do is switch off and pause. So, let the tool cool down and again when you switch it on, if the light turns green which means it is ok and you can start using. So, that is option number 2. There is a third thing that could happen and this is when the color of the light turns red and it stays red. It is not blinking, it stays constant red. Now, that is not the situation where you want to land which means this tool is not safe to use at that point of time. So, all that you need to do is disengage the tool and switch it off. Why? Why would this turn totally red and stay red? It could happen in few situations. It could be a kickback control, it could be overload protection or it could be that the wheels are jammed. Okay? So, in any of these conditions this light will grow totally red and all that you need to do is switch it off, disengage, remove it. After some time you can switch it on and then start working 
you will only turn it on after disengaging from the work that is already you're doing right so the three options already mentioned for the hmi uh, total green red blinking and total red so these are the three options and in all the three options the user is absolutely in control to know what is the status of the tool functioning with the workpiece and then he can make things decisions or choices accordingly so here we have the tool with us uh, uh, fitted with a grinding wheel a grinding wheel is always an extra so which means the customer needs to buy the grinding wheel cutting wheel or the wire cup brush based on his application and requirements separately from our dealer outlets uh, coming to the tool uh, a pretty uh, i would say ergonomic tool uh, a good soft holding because it's got rubberized at the back okay uh, vibration dampening ham handle so which can be moved to left right or to the top very clearly uh, embossed brushless motor which means now this is a brushless technology that we have inside we will talk in detail about the brushless motor that is put here uh, the motor is very unique to us uh, for one simple reason it has six patents on the motor itself okay and you have this indicator over here so the indicator would go red indicator could go green indicator could go red blinking mode which means it is an hmi human machine interface which is communicating something to us so watch out for the mode that comes up on the indicator right this has got a special braking system okay so what do you mean by a special braking system so if you have used a heavy angle grinder before um, 7 inch or the 9 inch one so once you have stopped the uh, once you have stopped the uh, the machine uh, the wheel would take some time to spin and come to a standstill okay it, it goes beyond few minutes a few seconds uh, but over here it comes to standstill in less than three seconds all right so that's a big big uh, advantage from the user safety point of view second uh, this has got a kickback control which means if your wheel is stuck somewhere or there's something where it got jammed so the machine will come to a pause or standstill which means it's not going to harm either the machine or the wheel which can crack or break in the due course so that's a huge safety aspect again uh, vibration dampening yes there is a vibration dampening handle apart from this there is also a metallic piece that's added to this part which reduces the vibration of the tool by 23 percent 23 percent of reduction in vibration that's because of the special design that the tool is built with so that's a huge huge takeaway from the tool so very good for the user who's going on a heavy fabrication or long hours of fabrication work so his uh, uh, fatigue of arms and uh, shoulder would be reduced drastically because of the vibration dampening right um, comes with restart protection i think we know about that what a restart protection is uh, most importantly also with a soft start which means that you the user has a time to load the machine onto the job and by that time the speed picks up so it's not that you are rushing into a work so it takes time to uh, get at maximum speed and that's going to be again a big safety advantage for the user right uh, also coming with overload protection which means that if the tool is overloaded the machine would stop okay which means you have to disengage and then restart the machine so that's about the overloading part of it coming to switch so this is the same switch that we are using on all our angle grinders all five all seven inch and nine inch angle grinders so this is the tri control switch which we are regularly used to and the same switch that we have and that's why and this is a lockable switch i think you see this is locked okay and that's why the term b all right uh, so here we have uh, now let's get into the nomenclature we can do that uh, so gws which means it's a professional angle grinder 30 stands uh, we'll talk about 30 uh, 180 is the size of the wheel so this is a 7 inch wheel that we are talking about b stands for the switch which means this is a lockable switch so now we talk about the motor part of the uh, tool so this is a special motor which has got uh, six patents on the, mo the motor itself so this is the rotor part and this is the stator part uh, you can see here uh, 
So this is a uh, potting technology. Uh, it's special. Why is it special? Because when you compare this with our earlier uh, armature and the field coil technology, which is used in most of our HDAG tools, now you see you are able to see the wires that's open on all the sides. Okay, and. Uh, when there is a metal dust in the workspace, so you know what happens, they would get shot if the armature fails or the field coil fails. But in this case, you can be very sure there is not a single cable that's exposed, which means that it's going to give you a real long life uh, for the tool itself and drastic reduction in the uh, failure rates. So that's a big, big thumbs up for the tool and um, the, the maintenance cost is going to be reduced drastically, really drastically. All right, yeah. So try to understand the brake control here. So I switch it on and see how fast it comes to install. You see this? So which means the tool has come to an abrupt stop. And uh, this is very good. This is a very strong safety feature in the workplace. Uh, because a revolving uh, accessory or a grinding wheel for a long time could also cause an harm. And this abrupt stop is a feature that most of our customers like for their industrial application. So here we have uh, GWS 30. So we're going to use the GWS 30 onto a, a welded seam. So we'll try to remove the welder joint out here. So let's see how the tool works. We all know this is a sturdy tool. There you go. Now the tool is in off situation. So we just put this on. So this is the green light, which means it's all okay to use the tool uh, for grinding, all right? And a uh, few things to observe. Let's use it and then I'll tell you what it is, all right? 